Hi all, I'm D and welcome to Decode's YouTube channel. So in this video, I'll be solving this particular problem right here. That is, if the input string is in this manner, alternating between an alphabet and a numeric value A1, B2, C3, we'll have to print this particular alphabet this much number of times. So A1 means A should be printed once, B2 means B should be printed twice and C3 means C should be printed thrice. This is called as string decoding or expanding this particular string. Okay, so I'll be giving you the solution in Java. Okay, so now let's get into this. But before that, I'd like to show you my YouTube channel, which is Decodes. The purpose of this channel is to be useful for others who are all preparing for their interviews to help them get into the next steps of their lives. Okay, so you can find technical interview experiences, HR interview experiences, hiring updates, hackathon updates, you know, previous year question papers of various companies and preparation strategy. I've got Java shots and Python shots going on. If you are a Java person, person, you can go for it. Or if you are a Python person, learning basics of Python, I've got the code for it here also. So please do uh, watch my channel, watch my videos and give me subscription because this will be really useful for you. And if you don't want to miss any updates, then you should definitely subscribe to me. Like my videos if you really found it useful and then share it with your friends so that they can subscribe too. Okay, now let's get into this. Okay, so as I've explained you the input actually, it, the, the input is going to be in this format, a string, output should be a string. So, okay, so some other inputs that we can take are, so if the input is given as a, b, 2. Okay, in this case, there is no numeric value, right? There is no numeric value. So now what I need to do is, if you take a b2 okay let me just if you take a b2 so i need to print a once if there is no numeric value and then b b this is going to be one edge case i need to cover this also and then uh, so this numbers 1 2 3 it's going to be starting from 0 till any digit any number of digits okay so if it is a 10 a should be printed 10 times okay and then b2 c3 this is going to be the second edge case followed by this if if it is given as a0 then we should not print a at all b b c c c this is going to be the third edge case so we need to write the code in such a way that all of these conditions should be covered okay now let's get into this um, so first i'll be giving you the logic for this we can go for the code and then i'll dry run this for you okay now uh, now, initially, the first thing is I'll be taking the input string in this input variable, fine. And then I'll be using a string builder. The string builder, it's going to, the string builder called as result, it is going to build our output. So since uh, in Java, string is immutable, I'm using a string builder over here, okay. Now let's get into the algorithm. Uh, the first thing is I'm going to run a, loop over my input string let's take a1 b2 c3 i'm going to run a loop okay so this particular i variable is going to have the access of the current characters so if you take i it will going to have the access to the index okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 so till the last i'll be writing the while loop in that case okay and then i'm going to take with the help of this i i am going to take the current characters okay so the, so the current characters are going to be a and then the next iteration one and then b and then two and then c and then three all of these current characters okay so now uh, what i need to do is we have got two cases now if this current character so initially the current character is a the current character can be a or it can be something other than that also someone might give you one b two c three then in that case, you should just ignore this and print B, B, C, 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 right? So we've got two cases in that one. So I'll just add the third edge case also, which is if they give you like 1, B, 2, C, 3, the output should be B, B, C, 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 the fourth edge case, okay? Let's take. So that's why initially itself, when I'm going to do the algorithm, I'm going to check if the current character is an alphabet or not. So I'll be writing an if condition inside this. I'll check if it is an alphabet or not. If it is an alphabet, then fine. Uh, I'm going to take another variable J, which is going to have the access to the next character. 
बिकॉज द नेक्स्ट कैरेक्टर श्योरली इट्स गोइंग टू बी ए नंबर ओके सो नाउ आई हैव आई हैव द एक्सेस टू दिस पर्टिकुलर नंबर राइट हियर नाउ वॉट आई डू विज इफ इट इज अ डिजिट ओके इफ इट इज एक्चुअली अ डिजिट um and i'm going to check that if it is a digit then i'm just going to take the count variable and store this particular one over here if it is not a digit and then i'm just going to ignore it okay this is what i'll do and then and then i'll run another for loop and this for loop will be useful in printing the particular current character a this much count number of times so a is one right so a will be printed once i hope that was understandable this is the intuition behind it okay what if they have given a 10 b 2 c 3 then a should be printed 10 times it it can't be like i is going to be here j is going to be here so a b b c c c no not like that so for that what you need to do is we need another variable called as number builder so this is also going to be a string builder so this particular number builder what it will do is it will build the number if the number is 1 this number builder is going to be 1 if 10 it is initially going to have the value of 1 and then 10 okay if it is 100 it will build starting from 1 and then 10 and then 100 we are going to build this number builder and then we are going to append this add this number builder to our count so for example the number is actually 1 our particular a will be printed once if it is 10 a will be printed 10 times if it is 100 a will be printed 100 times okay i hope that was understandable now let me go and explain the code before that if we are completed with one iteration no if i and j is completed we need to move the i to the next one so for that what i'll do is i'll just so i, I would have already done So if i is equal to zero, j equal to one. So I'll be using the code j equal to i plus one. So actually, after everything is done, I'll just put i equal to j, and that's it because we have already incremented j over here. Okay. So this particular if condition is completed. Now what if we have one b two c three? So i will be here, right? So I'm going to check if it is an alphabet. No, it is not even an alphabet. So in the else part, I will just increment the i to the next one. Just ignore it and increment to the next one. Okay, now I'll explain the code and it will be easier for you to understand. Okay, as I said before, I'm going to take the input. Okay, uh, so input string is going to take the input string builder is going to take the result and it is going to build the uh, result string. Okay, now let's take while loop. It is going to run. till the length till the last letter last character of this particular string and i'm going to take the int i equal to 0 which is starting from 0 and then the last now i told you i'll be taking the current character to keep track of each and every character i'll be using the caret i function okay now i told you i need to check if the current character is a letter only if it is a letter then we can be able to do this okay only if it is a letter we can able to do this else we need to just move on increment the i right so initially uh initially the current character is going to be a so it's not a problem for us uh, so we will be taking the next character uh, axis which is j so j is going to be i plus 1 i told you and then i told you that if the number is just 1 2 or 3 then it is fine if not we need to use a number builder okay this number builder i have assigned it over here and then the number builder is going to build the number using this while condition so uh, so j is going to be the next part okay j is going to be one now and then i need to check if the j is actually within this particular index because if it has gone above and beyond the length of this particular string then it won't work so i need to check put the check condition over here and then what i need to do is i need to check if it is a digit also okay i need to check if the particular character to which the j is pointing to if it is a digit only if both this condition are true i'll just append that particular digit to the uh, number builder and then i'll increment j okay so this is how it is going to happen this will build it and then i told you about the count i need to take the count variable so the number builder dot length okay so the number builder if the length of the number builder is greater than 0 so for example if it if it is actually has something if the number builder has 1 or 10 or 100 it's going to have some length with it so greater than 0 always right 1 10 or 100 or anything so in that case i'll be taking the particular number converted into a string 
and then convert it into an integer now i have the count which has the number in it if the number is 1 it will 2 is it will have the count as 2 if it is 100 it will have the count as 100 under which condition the number builder will not have anything in it if it has like i already told you if it has like a b 2 sorry if it has like a b 2 then there is not going to be any number number builder will not have anything in that case i told you we need to print this particular character only once that's why i am taking inside this ternary operator if the number builder doesn't have anything in it right then it's going to be just one okay then using this for loop i am going to print the particular result i am going to build the result and then i told you i, I will be keeping i equal to j move to the next letter if not if not if it is not even an alphabet I'll be just putting else i plus plus. That's it. Uh, so after this particular while loop is over, after this particular while loop gets over, I'll be printing the result in the string format using two string function. Okay. Now, now let's dry run this. I'll be giving you the dry run for it. Okay, nice. Now let's take. Uh, first, let's take the simple example a1, b2, c3. Let's go over it. So initially, i is going to be equal to 0. So i is going to point over here. Right. So while i less than input dot length, so it is less than the input only. So input, the length is going to be 6, right? It is actually less than 6. Uh, and then I'm going to check, take the current character. So the current character is equal to a, okay? It is going to be A and I am going to check if the current character is actually a letter. It is a letter. So, I am going to take uh, uh, J which is going to be 1. So, this is going to be J. Okay. Now, I told you that I need to build the number. So, I, I can't just assign count is equal to uh, input dot caret J. No, I can't do that because of multiple digit numbers. So, I will be taking the number builder. Okay. Let's take the number builder. So the number builder, it's going to be building this particular thing. So let's take the while loop. So j is less than input dot length. Yes, it is. If the character, if the character j, it is actually a digit, right? So I just append the character 1 to the number builder. I've just appended it. And I need to increment j. So j is now going to be 2. So at 2, we have b. Now we need to see j is less than input dot length and character dot is digit. It is a digit is it a digit no it is actually j is over here it is actually pointing to b right so it is not a digit so the number builder is actually one okay now i'm, I'm just going to check the take the count so number builder has a length which is one greater than zero uh, this will be converted into a string and then to a number the count is going to be one okay uh, and then uh, using this for loop i'll be building the a result so we have the result a will be appended only one time so using this for loop and then i equal to j so now i equal to one okay now the next now we are going to the next iteration i equal to one now we've got a1 b2 c3 the same now i is going to be here now i is one we need to check it okay that's why we are checking it at the beginning itself we are going to take the current character the current character is actually one okay we are going to check if this current character is a letter no it is not a letter okay it is not a letter so i'm just going to move on so move on means i equal to two so now a1 b2 c3 so now i is going to be like this so this is how all of this will be running so uh, as i said before like uh, this particular logic itself will be applicable for this for this also okay now let's take a10 let's just take a10 okay i'll be taking a10 fine so i is initially going to be 0 and then current character is going to be a fine and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to check if this is an alphabet as i've checked it right here i'm going to check uh, if this is a like a letter yes it is a letter now j is going to be i plus 1 which is 1 so i will be here j will be here we don't know if it is going to be single digit or multiple digit that's why we are taking a number builder okay now i'm going to check the number builder uh, like i'm going to check if j is less than input dot length yes it is and if the character at j 
which is one that is actually a digit right yes amazing so the number builder will, will be going to be having it will have one appended to it now we increment the j to two so now j will be going here okay so now we'll be uh, checking if j less than input dot length yes j is less than input dot length and if the character at j which is zero is a digit yes it is a digit now the number builder will have uh, the zero appended to it it will have 10 now okay this is how it is going to happen and after again j will be incremented j will be incremented to 3 so it is a great it is greater than the particular length which is a10123 it's equal to the length so we can't move ahead and then we are going to take count so inside the count we have the number builder which has the length greater than 0 right the length is 2 so we are going to append the count 10 to here okay now we are going to run this for loop this many amount of time and a will be printed 10 times okay and then and the next iteration i will be incremented to 1 so a 1 0 it will check i will be here so this needs to be an alphabet right it is not an alphabet so we move on i plus plus i will be here and then this is not an alphabet so we move on so i this is how it is going to be happening so i hope this was understandable so i have explained you the dry run also these are all the what these are all the edge cases for it so we have seen a10 b2 c3 edge case okay and we have seen for the normal thing also okay so if a0 b2 c3 comes then what would happen is the number builder will have zero in it right and then the count will also have zero in it so the k equal to 0 k less than count is 0 so nothing will be upon this for loop will not be running so that particular character will be ignored so this is nice this is nice and we have seen this uh, else part will be executed and this also so i want you to run this particular code okay this particular code no i want you to run this for all of these edge cases and do the dry run by yourself one more time Okay, so I hope this was understandable. I'll see you in another video. If this video was really understandable for you, please do mention in the comment. Please like this. And if you didn't understand any part, ask the doubts in the comment section. Okay, I'll try to reply as best as possible. So, no, so now I'll see you in another video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.